asphalt while hauling boats. Another boater and I got into a discussion about the best ways to care for boats with a blade of paint in preparation for winter storage. The question came up when I passed on having my boats hull power washed as Sojourn sat on the cradle. All the boats around Sojourn had harder bottom paints which are intended for racing boats. The power washing, as you can see, took off all of the growth but left the bottom paint intact. Both the other boater and I use an ablative paint, specifically Interlux Micron CSC. And in a discussion with one channelery, I was cautioned against power washing the bottom because it tended to remove the paint as well as the growth, and was advised to take a straw broom to it and brush off the residual growth. Now the other boater was advised by another channelery that he should power wash his hull to clean off any growth and make sure the bottom was ready for repainting in the spring. I emailed Interlux Paint Support Department, and I got a call back from Jeremy Dolan in application support. Now, with Jeremy's background in product development, he was able to shed a light on the subject of caring for Micron CSC. And the first caution Jeremy shared was that not all ablative paint is the same, so the recommendations that follow are for Interlux Micron CSC. The first piece of information is that CSC is a multi year bottom paint. That means the boat can be hauled and stored for the winter, and then when put back into the water, the biocide in the paint is just as effective. The second piece of information is that the biocide resides in the resin, not in the blue pigment that you see on the bottom of the boat. And based on these two pieces of information, Jeremy recommends the fall preparation of the hull lies between the two recommendations from our chandleries. The other boater and I both applied our CSC bottom paint the same way. We removed all of the existing bottom paint and then applied one layer of white colored CSC. Then we both applied two layers of blue colored paint. Micron CSC being an ablative contains a biocide that kills any growth. And as the boat moves through the water, very small amounts of the paint and the growth fall off. And you can see the hull on Sojourn that after four weeks out of the water, the growth is indeed flaking off and taking just a little bit of the pigment with it. When I looked at the other boat, I saw the white colored bottom base coat. Now the high pressure washer in some areas took off both blue layers. Our expert Jeremy suggests the answer lies between the no wash and the high pressure wash. If the bottom is fairly clean at lift out, a wash with a pressure washer of no more than 1800 PSI will take off the growth and just a little bit of the pigment off the bottom of the boat. But a commercial power washer like the one used on this boat was rated at over 3,000 PSI and effectively sandblasted the bottom paint off the hull. Because I was out of town prior to haul out, our boat actually sat for four weeks in the water before hauling, and that led to a greater buildup of growth on Sojourn's hull. What doesn't come off with a stiff brush will now have to be sanded down to be able to apply a coat of paint in the spring if another coat needs to be applied before this season. There was a third point that Jeremy made, and that was an environmental concern. If a blade of paints like Micron CSC are power washed while the boat is on the slings or over a pier, like at our haul out, there's a greater concentration of biocide going into the surrounding water. By using a lower pressure washer, or waiting until the boat's in the compound to wash the hull with a low pressure washer, far less biocide goes back into the water. Any Canadian boater who's cruised to the U.S., especially the southern states, has seen a significant requirement for marinas to contain any contaminant like bottom paint. Bottom washing is done in closed areas where all of the water and the paint washed off the boat is captured and treated so no biocides or solid matter get into the surrounding water. If a boat is going to be sanded or painted, then ground collection sheets are spread under the boat so that again all waste and contaminants are captured and can be disposed of properly. So the answer to the question, to wash or to brush? After the boat's bottom has been properly prepared according to the manufacturer's instructions and you've applied at least three coats of Micron CSC, take your boat for a good run just before haul out to wash off any accumulated growth. When the boat is hauled, power wash the hull with just enough pressure, less than 1800 PSI, to take any growth off the hull, but not to remove more pigment, the color, or resin, which contains the biocide, than is necessary, and to make sure the hull can take a fresh coat of bottom paint in the spring. Do your best to contain any materials washed off your boat 
to protect the environment. If you have any questions that you would like me to ask the expert, send them to Terry Hodgins at Canadian Yachting Magazine. Until the next time, I'm Rob McLeod. Stay informed.